My name is Max Jones and I am an abstract expressionist painter and I work primarily in acrylic. Acrylic is a water-based medium and it allows me to take the paint and I kind of work in a bowl and I dilute it with water. So when I paint on the canvas, it basically goes on as a color wash. And so I add layer and layer and layer upon layer until the final image reveals itself. Basically, I feel like I'm the vessel. I'm just kind of like working intuitively. I'm kind of thinking about the aesthetic and the color and the balance and the composition. But ultimately, my goal when I'm working on a piece is to make an emotion kind of come from the piece. It all started about 16 years ago, and I'd gone to the Modern Museum in Fort Worth, and there was a big painting. Basically, it was just a big black canvas. And um, so I was like, with the simplicity of the concept, why is this museum worthy? and reading about the piece, I mean, I was like, basically it's a big black canvas. Um, it was really about the manipulation of the paint and there were no brush strokes and it was like the, about the process. And that kind of like set off a light bulb in my head that it's not necessarily about how complex a piece is. Um, it could be about the manipulation of the paint. And so I was like, well, I could do that if I kind of started uh, with something simple and a composition that's not overly complicated, maybe this is something that I could do. And I went back and I bought supplies and um, proceeded to kind of dabble and play. I started to realize that when you mix certain colors and the composition, of course, you know, my work is all about kind of tranquility, that you can get kind of an emotional response based on the color harmony and and the way the paint's laid out on the canvas. Um, I was kind of dabbling and I used to work on a little three foot square folding table in the back of our gallery. We had already opened a gallery in Dallas and we were showing other people's art. I had a publisher of a design magazine had come and uh, probably to get a check for an ad or who knows what. And um, so she had seen a piece on the little break table in the back room that I painted on and, and she said, what, who did this? And of course, you know, at the time I was like, oh my God, don't look at that. That's, I'm, that's something I'm working on. And she said, oh my God, I love it. Like, I want you to do a piece for my dining room, kind of like this. And she said, but here's the stipulation. You have to do a painting for my dining room and then you have to do another piece like it and hang it out in the gallery for sale. And I was like, okay. So I painted her piece and I painted another piece and I hung it up in the gallery in that first piece. Uh, it was called Long Journey. It was real simple in concept, um, sold almost immediately. You know, at the beginning, I kind of worked in a lot of different styles trying to find my voice artistically and then eventually kind of found um, the style that, that I'm really known for now. A lot of times people want to know how long it takes to create a piece. And what a lot of people don't know is that I have kind of these weird OCD issues where once I start working on a piece, I have to finish it that same day. So I've done pieces as big as six feet by eight feet and I can't leave it until I feel like it's at a place of completion. So I've been in the studio sometimes till three in the morning, but I can't, I can't leave it until it's done. So the answer for me, when people want to know like what is the timeline on creating a piece is always one day. It took me a really long time and I think that's true for a lot of artists. You know, when you're first starting, you have influences and there's so many different styles that I like, but you have to kind of figure out who you are and, and what you want to put out into the world. And so it takes a while. And then I finally kind of got to a place where 
I was like, this is, this is what I want to do. And I have no formal training. And so if you look at my technique, it almost looks like watercolor on canvas um, because I'm doing really watered down color washes. And um, it's not anything that, uh, that I see other people do a lot of. Um, it's kind of a technique that I've created over the years. And so, um, so that's what gives it that kind of soft ethereal feel um, because I work really tranquil with the composition. I end up in a lot of bedrooms or waiting rooms where people are nervous and they're trying to maybe kind of calm people down. For me as the artist, basically, I don't want any rules and I don't want to kind of like dictate what, um, what the end viewer feels. I kind of want to leave that for the viewer to kind of have their own experience. Um, so when people ask about like inspiration and want to know information on the piece, I try to be kind of ambiguous with the answer because I really want them ultimately to establish what their response is or what the piece means from their perspective and not from mine. I had a lady, I'd done kind of an abstract in kind of greens and blues and for whatever reason it reminded her of going to her, her dad's lake house as a child. That's the perfect response to one of my pieces. As an artist, what's I think important to me for the end user um, is basically I just want, I want the viewer to feel something. That's at the front and the foremost of, of why I do this. I'm Max Jones. I'm an abstract painter and I work and live in Taos, New Mexico.